You know, in the interest of full disclosure, because we have an obligation to be responsible at all times to the best of our ability, particularly when you've been in this business as long as I have. So the first order of business is to say that Mark Jackson is not only a former colleague, he's a friend. I've known him for many years. I wasn't blessed and fortunate enough to know him when I was growing up in Hollis, Queens, New York, and he was right down the block near Murdoch Avenue in O'Connell Park, where he grew up just a few blocks away. I looked up to him. I was never the player that he was. I was never the basketball mind that he was. And everybody has to find their own way. But one of the greatest honors of my career is that I've come to know him and to be able to call him a friend. So I will openly confess to you, to everybody out there, that, yeah, you can accuse me of a bit of bias. Fair enough. But what's happening to him and what has been happening to him is utter bullshit. And y'all are full of shit. <laughs> Little motherfucker gonna try to rob me. Well, I'm gonna show you how we do it up here in Pinkies, nigga. Come on, man. Come on. At some point, the lies have got to stop. The lies have got to stop. I've sat back year after year after year listening to lies, questioning me as a man and my integrity what I stand for, what, what I was raised on, has been questioned. I sat back and didn't say anything. My guy, the coach, the legend, Coach Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, has a great quote that I listened to just recently. He said he lost the address to the high road. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting closer because there's a side of me that's fed up, that's upset that you keep on smearing my name. Today a report came out that I was fired or dismissed from calling Nick games. Honored and bestowed, honored and privileged to have an offer bestowed upon me to back up the legend, Walt Clyde Frazier, calling Nick games. Over a week ago, I turned that job down. You heard what I said? More than a week ago, I turned the job down due to the fact that it wasn't the ideal conditions and it wasn't the ideal time for me. You never know what the future holds. They say once a Nick, always a Nick. I bleed a side of me, blue and orange. I dreamt of playing for the Knicks. I dreamt of calling games for the Knicks. It would have been a dream accomplished, but it just didn't work out. I give the reporter credit. Four guys, four calls yesterday from reporters trying to get a quote from me. I did not respond because I don't play that game. I let it alone, thinking that it'll die and nobody will know what happened. But over a week ago, I turned the job down. Forever grateful, and again, you never know what the future holds. But I want to thank you. Blessings. But what's happening to him and what has been happening to him is utter bullshit. And y'all are full of shit.